Hey, this is Asha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. What I want to share with you today is how to get out or exit out of a call option contract, whether it's winning or losing. And we're going to do this on the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform. So stay tuned. All right. So if you already have a call option contract on uh, file, meaning it's already in the order or trade queue. Uh, and now you want to go ahead and exit because either the position's winning or either the position is losing. Whatever the case may be, I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. Now, normally I wouldn't recommend doing single call option contracts. I would definitely recommend you check out some of the uh, option trading 101 uh, things that we have on our website because uh, there's a lot better ways to trade than just trading single option call contracts or even put contracts. Uh, you can do things with spreads and those kinds of things um, such as making money from time decay like here I have on this trade example where the time value works for you in your favor rather than against you. But here when we look at um, a single call contract here what I have is Facebook here and I just put this trade on maybe uh, 20 minutes or so ago. And you can see right now it's just moving and whipping around and uh, we're down about $2.46. So here I have a long single one Facebook contracts, 260, paid $4 for it. And uh, you can see right there, we basically are down about $2.46. And you can see uh, it wiggles uh, here and there on our monitor tab as well. So there it is. Now, if I wanna go ahead and get out of this, maybe because I see there's weakness in the stock or maybe this was a profitable position, I wanna get out of it. How would I do this? Well, you could do this from the trade area. There's a couple ways to do this. The first way is go to the trade area. And um, actually, let's start with the monitor tab. You could go ahead and go to the monitor section in the Thinkorswim platform, go here. And what I can do is uh, right click one of my filled orders right here, the one that I got in, and I could say create an opposite order. And there we go, it'll put it in right there. And now I'm in the trade tab area, and it'll put it right here. And what I can do is hit confirm and send. It'll pop up this box and I can send that order in. So that's one way to do that. Let's delete that. Let me show you another way to do that. Uh, the other way is open up your equities right here in the monitor tab. You can see it right here. You can right click and uh, you can create a closing order right here and sell one Facebook. So again, it'll do the same thing here. Okay, and put me back right in that area. Uh, I could go ahead and this is the way, uh, the way I like to do it, I'll show you here in a second. You could analyze the closing trade and go right here, it'll put it in the analyze tab. So to analyze and you can see your risk profile. So not in the ad simulated, but in the risk profile area, you can do it this way. Um, and then you can see uh, right there how it neutralizes it, whether it'll be, you'll be profitable or at a loss. In our case, since we bought it at four and we're selling it at four, you know, it would be at zero. I could try and, and sell it for 405 and then I would make five dollars um, so that's another way to do it I personally just if I'm looking at this analyze tab I will just simply right click this one analyze closing trade and just do it from here and then go right there and all these areas whenever you see those kind of red or green um, items you could right click confirm and send and then you'll see this dialog box and you could go ahead and send in that way so those are different ways that you could go ahead and do it and one final way to do this is from your trade area tab right here, you can see if you've got a ton of positions on, you'll be able to see a lot of these uh, positions. It says position, whether you're bought or sold. If you look at the Wayfair position that I have, uh, you'll see there's gonna be more of those. So you'll see uh, one is short, the red is short, the green is long. So you could just do any individual one. So let's do Facebook here, go back, and if I'm looking at my position here, you can see I've got a green one, which means I am along that one. Do I know how many? It doesn't tell me here. So that's why I like the analyze tab, but you could go ahead and you know uh, buy one or sell one. In our case, we need to sell one and get out of it that way, but you gotta know how many contracts you have. So that's why I like the analyze tab. I will see I've got one. I can right click, analyze, boom, have it right there. And I could try and bump it up and say, hey, well, maybe I want to make 405 and that'll be a $5 uh, profit versus right now it'd be 390. I'd have a $10 loss. So uh, in this case, what you would do is right click, confirm and send. And I would sell them that order in. And uh, let's just do it this way. Bump it up a little bit. See if you can be profitable on it. Confirm and send. 
send that order in. And what it's gonna do is you'll see that it has a sell order here on this one and you'll see the working orders here, it's going in and current price is kind of at 3.95 and um, I'm, I'm asking for 405. So I may or may not get filled. If I wait a few minutes, maybe it won't get filled. I'll right click, cancel and replace that order, bump it down a little bit and you can see from a 405 order, I was above kind of the mid and back down to 395, I'm kind of in the mid and now I can confirm and send. And what you'll see here is that order is getting replaced right here in this area. And uh, it got replaced with a 395 order. And I can keep doing this process until I get out and try and get lower and lower because now I go ahead and take a loss because I'm not selling at a higher price, right? We bought it at four and if we sell at three, 385, well, you lose some money. And in this case, this position was a loss of $10 uh, right here. So you can see right there, that was a $10 loss on that position. And it's because I had it for just a handful of minutes here. So anyways, that's how you would go ahead and kind of get out of the order, whether it's profitable or it's a losing position. That's the way you would do it in a single call contract. And even if you have spreads, you could do them individually, um, single one at a time, but usually it's more efficient to do it as a spread or as a multi-leg order. Um, so anyways, that's kind of all for today's video, but I did want to let you know that, you know, this is not the smartest approach. If you're buying a single call contract or buying a single put, it's not usually the smartest approach. I definitely would recommend you go ahead and check out the getting started area here, Options Trading 101, um, and really look to see, this is all free, see how the real way uh, money is made trading options. Um, you know, see, here's the professional way, the smarter approach. Watch some of these videos and it'll give you a better idea and insight. And if you really want to just step things up, you could check out some of the courses that I have available and even join me on a coaching session or even mentoring where I work with you for multiple months to get you to understand what's going on and what's happening. So anyways, um, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you're interested in seeing some other great videos that I have, feel free to go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button here or see some of those freebies over in this area or even check out another awesome video over here. Thanks again and remember, do what you love, contribute to other people, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you in the next video.